Hey, this will be a short one, but uh, copper. Everybody loves copper, right? And I know at some point I'd included a, a picture of, uh, of the giant bucket of copper fittings. And, oh, like so many things, eh, yes, there's few of them are in there than, than a furl of wood. Like, we got a bunch of scraps. I got a lot of one inch, which I, I guess I could use for, uh, you know, trunk line. A bunch of valves. But, uh... I think only this one and this one are usable. Here's all my one inch stuff, inch to three quarters and uh, three quarter T's. Where is that? Oh, this one here, that's interesting. That's a Venturi, you see that? So as you push water through here, it's going to suck water in there. Well, I guess in case you need to fill your steam engine, I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's maybe it's an old uh, water heating thing. I got three of these slip joint connections. Um, Ten bucks a piece, so those are worth something. Here is, is my three-quarter. And, uh, you know, I know a lot of it's going to be big straight runs and then teeing off into half, but I probably don't. I have more than likely... All the 45s I could use, but I often need a few more 90s. I got all the couplings I could use. I'll definitely need some more T's. You know, I got some of these nice brake connections. These are solder on brake connections and caps and whatnot. A wide variety of three quarter to half diddly doodads. On the half inch side, a lot less than I thought, so I'll definitely need some more of those, but I got a, a selection of 90s. Shows you how old some of the stuff is. That's a sweat or solder brass. And I've got I've got this one, and I've got a mess of tees. As old as these are, I don't trust them for a moment not to have lead in them. So, going and connecting the, the toilets? You bet. I, I don't care. You can make my turds retarded, but... This is probably not what you're going to want. Well, definitely not to a bathroom sink, but probably not even to, you know, to the shower. Um, dishwasher? Well, no, let's not do that. Um, but, you know, if you were running half inch to the washing machine, you know, it, it would be fine there. I just don't trust them. They're just, they're just a little old, right? Some of, these, some of this stuff is... The stuff my grandfather collected. And there's some things that are a little more valuable. There's Street 45, or Street 90s. Got got a bunch of, of Street 90s there. Got a selection of 45 inches. All the uh, butt connectors a, a fella could ever want. And then a decent assortment of little adapters. Again, some of them are odd fittings. Like these here. That, that actually is how I would go three-quarter to three-quarter. I got two of them. They're identical. They're not cut off. They're designed to be sweated in, although that's not much of a lip. And they don't fit. They don't fit half. I'm not sure what that's about. So, yeah. Kind of a bummer. That bucket was sure heavy. I mean, there's still a couple hundred dollars worth of fittings on this table. There's no doubt about that. And each and every one of them is going to need a, a finger up the bum with a little steel wool on it, um, if only to to knock the crusties out of them. But I bet dang near all of it goes into this house. You know, and like I said, it would be fine to a toilet. It would be fine to the washing machine. It's just not to your drinking water. So I'll have to go digging. I'll have to go digging. I know I've got some more at the house. I know I've got uh, fittings in um, coffee cans and stuff in the wood shop. I'll need some valves. I definitely need some valves. Like, I don't know what this was doing before, but if you've rusted a chrome ball, I don't want to drink out of it. You know what I mean? If you rusted a chrome. No rusty balls for me. Ooh, sorry, that was probably loud. And that one can go in there. And then, you know, this one's been de-sweated at some point. 
God only knows why, but, uh, you know, the, the reason easily could have been it doesn't work anymore. So stuff like that is just scrap, right? Who knows what Grandpa was building when he was doing this, but I bet all the joints are fine. So yeah, uh, yeah, I was thinking I would, oh, I bet that one's no good. Bummer. I, I guarantee you that's a $10 fitting. Um, you know, I wasn't planning on doing my manifolds out of copper, but other than I don't have enough one inch T's, and I can only imagine what uh, one inch copper water line costs. Um, probably won't use any of that. That's, that's probably copper scrap someday down the road, but the rest of it, the rest of it'll be useful. I think, you know, and, and then those, those vertical runs where I, I'm going upstairs. This is, this is perfect. I'll, I'll, I'll solder on that little drain valve. Like I was talking about in a previous video. In case you're not watching them consecutively, um, I, unsurprisingly, don't trust squishy plastic plumbing connections inside my walls over the next few decades. What I do trust is sweated copper, which will essentially last until the meth heads get in here and strip it out. So that'll be my lifetime, probably. So I'm going to run in all of my walls. I'm going to run hard copper. I'm really pretty good at uh, sweating or soldering, as we call it here. I'm going to run the hard copper, and I'll just run them in verticals. And then underneath the house, I'll run pecs. So the hard copper will all come down through the core of the house, and then it'll tee into pecs, and pecs will run over to where my water comes in, and the pressure tank, and the filters, and things like that. And that way, if we ever get a freeze event where I can't keep the house warm, you literally, you could shut it off down over there and, um, and I'll have drain lines at, at the bottom uh, of all my vertical coppers and I can at least drain the inside walls. I might lose, I might lose stuff as far as my pressure tank. Um, I might lose my filters, which would suck, but it would suck nothing like, you know, blowing out drywall, especially in a house with so much water on the second story. When you have a hot water heater on the second story, wash machine is on the second story, which I know is a little weird, but you don't have to live here. Um, so, I don't know. That's, that's my idea. Anyways, this crap's super expensive. The PEX fittings are super expensive. So, why the hell wouldn't I? All I'm going to need is a bag of 90s, a bag of T's in half inch, and probably a bag of T's in three quarter. Um, other than that, my magical mystery bucket of random old crap, I think is going to see me through. Just, you know, not for drinking water.